pomegranate in South Florida. Oh, here's the tree. And look at this. Pomegranate, you can keep as a bush. If you get an idea how tall it is, the tree. But this is one job of the cabo I have in the ground. This is a black zebra. Look at that. Loaded. My mate apple, Redlands. Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees. And it is cold here in South Florida today. It's in the 50s. And uh, this is why I moved away from the north. I don't like the cold weather. But I'm still out here. I wanted to make a video. And I have a very interesting video to make. Something I haven't spoken much about on this channel before. But I need to talk about it because uh, it's something that I'm learning about. And it's exciting. Very exciting. So one of my favorite websites to order stuff from is laurafarmsmiami.com. My friend Julian over there has an amazing, amazing uh, fruit tree nursery. And he, I love uh, his website that he just doesn't have a fruit, but he has different varieties of fruits. And he labels them. And so we know, like, most people that sell, like, black sapote, for example, they just sell them black sapote. But he has different varieties of black sapote, and he knows about each variety. And with all, with all different fruits, he knows about the variety, so that's really cool. Well... Something I was not sure I wanted to have in my yard, not something that I enjoy eating, but I love juicing. I'm into health, and I love making fresh juices, and pomegranate juice is one of my favorite tasting juices. I love pomegranate juice, but where am I going to find pomegranates here in South Florida that grow? You know, I know around this uh, holiday time, you can go to the supermarket and find pomegranates, but they usually grow in places that have a colder environment. And yes, it's cold today, but it's usually not cold here. So things with low chill hours uh, usually don't do great out here uh, with, with some chill hours they need. This is a peach tree behind me. It needs some chill hours. And uh, we'll see how it does. But uh, certain things need certain chill hours. But there's certain varieties of things that normally need chill hours that, like this variety of the peach behind me, for example, that won't need chill hours. So this is the, for example, this here is a tropical persimmon. It's known as a triumph persimmon. And most persimmon varieties need chill hours. This variety doesn't need chill hours. So this variety will grow here in South Florida. So you have to know, because if you plant one of the ones that require chill hours to fruit, the tree might grow, but if it's not one of the right varieties, you're not going to get any fruit on it. So thankfully, I get fruit on my peaches. I get fruit on my, my persimmon. But pomegranate in South Florida? My neighbor had one that didn't do well at all. Well, on Julian's website, I was down there. Let me put it this way. I wasn't even looking for a pomegranate tree. I was down at his farm. I do a lot of videos there, and I so look forward to getting back there. I'll put the link below. But I was down uh, on his farm a year ago or so, and I was just like, what can I get? What else can I get? He goes, have you heard about the Vietnamese tropical pomegranate? And I'm like, no. Now, again, I don't, I'm not one of those persons that enjoy eating the little seeds of the pomegranate, but I love pomegranate juice. I was like, no, I haven't heard of that. He goes, well, the fruit's excellent down here. And I found it hard to believe because my neighbor had trouble fruiting pomegranate for a long time down here. But thinking about, okay, Julian knows the varieties and everything, I'll get it. I had it in a pot for a long time. And I was going to put it in my ground. And my neighbor's like, don't even waste your time. It's not going to fruit. Well, first of all, here it is on his website. It's Vietnamese Tropical. There it is. Vietnamese Tropical. Persimmon. And on this it says, true to seed and fruits two to three times per year. And I'm like, wow. Well, let me show you the tree. Okay. And I bought this. It was smaller. I had it in a pot for a while. I was, I was contemplating on leaving it in a pot. Now, I hear the seeds are harder than other, other trees you would get of, of pomegranate. But that's fine for juicing. So here's the tree. And look at this. 
Now it has fruited already. It fruited th three or four, but that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Seven. And then there's a flower up there, eight. On this little tree, eight. Oh, here's another flower. So it would make nine. On this little tree, nine fruits. Pomegranate juice ain't cheap, folks. I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. And what I really like is I only have a small space here. This persimmon, I don't know if it's going to last here because of the, even though it grows slow and small, behind that I have my star apple, so I don't know if that'll work out. I have this Ronnie avocado, another reason you want to go check out Julian. This Ronnie avocado is about to take off and... Uh, it's an excellent tasting variety of avocado, but I didn't have much room. I only had a tiny space here. But this, this pomegranate you can keep as a bush. A bush. Yes. So, my, oh, there's another flower. Look at that. So, a pomegranate bush, and I have it right next to my miracle fruit which you can keep a bush as well. And it's loaded right now. It makes the cold weather worth it because this time of year, well, this, this also fruits several times a year. So I can keep that that close to that. And that tree won't be in the way. That's fine. So this is nice. It, it, it's a nice surprise. Now I could cut away my star apple cut it back a little and keep the persimmon here which i may but let me tell you speaking about julian and <laughs> laura Fons miami he's all he's got me into star apple and the star apples he has the varieties are great now this one i got before i even knew him this is a green one and that's a great example of varieties. It's just green and purple when you go to the store, when you go to a nursery. Green and purple, which variety do you want? Oh, they're grafted, they're green and purple, but they don't have any names. But Julian has this cool variety. This is a, this is the Hypolito, possibly. He had two varieties, and I got them both, and the label fell, so I'm not sure. But this is pretty cool, too. Check this out. So this is a star apple here. And so this is one of Julian's star apples, but the root under it is growing out also. And I didn't cut it, I let it grow. And look at the difference in the leaves. These leaves are long. That's how you know star apple, it's different colors. But these leaves are on the longer side. See the shape of that leaf? And then look at these. See how they're much rounder? So that's, so that's so cool. And normally I would cut the seedling of a tree, but Julian has a star fruit tree that on his property that is an amazing star fruit, but a seedling grew up under it and it tastes even more amazing than the amazing one. I think he's gonna call it purple rain or I don't know, purple something. But, so I'm gonna let this seedling grow on the bottom and see how that one grows as well. So that is, that's really exciting. And while I'm out here, I want to show you some other things. So this is my, this is one of my Jabba de Kaba trees. And this is interesting. Sometimes I see mango trees growing right next to each other and you don't really see a difference, but sometimes you see a big difference even in the same variety. But this is one Jabba de Kaba I have in the ground. This is a black zebra, nothing on here at all. Nothing growing at all. So, then we come out front here. Check this out. This is another one. Nothing growing at all. Nothing. Now, let me take it on my neighbor's yard and show you his. He has two sabers right in front of his house. getting kind of tight here in this house but look at this 
Look at that. Loaded. 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 And it's so interesting because it's right next to another one. And on this one, nothing. So interesting. These two trees are right next to each other. And one's loaded and one there's nothing. And this one's even taller. Now they were planted at the same time. They're both getting water. This one's actually more shaded because the tree's behind it. You know, you say a tree needs sun. Well, this one doesn't have any, this one has more sun. Still shaded a little by the coconut, but it has more sun than this one. Growing bigger, growing better, but that one's loaded and that one has nothing. So interesting, so interesting. I just love discovering about all these fruits and everything. And yeah, let's go take a one more look at that pomegranate because that's what you want to get. And then I'm going to show you one more thing to get from Julian that's really, really cool. Uh, so come in here. All right. So here's the other side of the pomegranate. And you get an idea how tall it is, the tree. And I can cut this smaller if I want. It is interesting, though, that all the pomegranates are on the top. So even though this is a bush, I'm going to let it grow as much as I could fit in before I do cut it. I did cut some things back recently because it's been windy here in South Florida. It's early now. The sun is about to come up. But I want to show you all one more thing that I got. So I was at Julian last year and he let me taste something called a Mame Apple. Also called uh, Mame America or something like this. And delicious fruit, delicious fruit. Grows really tall and I wish I had a spot for it. But then I was at another nursery called Zane's World and they actually had a bunch for samples and it was a different variety. I liked it. Uh, and I bought a variety, so I put it in the ground. I finally found a spot in Mangoland to put to put it, but I'm about to uh, switch that variety with uh, one of Julian's varieties. Julian has a variety that it, it peels from the skin. The name escapes me at the moment, but I'll put the link below in the description. But check this out. Here's what I decided to do. So... Here's my, the one I just put in the ground. This one's called a, a Redlands, and this is from the Fruit and Spice Park. And I'll show you right here. My May Apple, Redlands. So I got this one from Zane's World. Julian has uh, like two or three varieties, and his variety, I'll put the description below, but as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what it is right now. His variety is El Tesoro. So there it is. If you can see it there. El Tesoro. And his is a self-peel variety. It peels back. Well, and his, it peels off the seed easy and fruits very well so I got two varieties of these and I planted it here because I'm going to take this out this is a acerola cherry that I'm going to take out but it kind of gives it some protection until this grows a little better and gets a little bit more established because now that I got my water system in I'm able to plant something here so that's going to grow really nice right there it's a bigger tree so I'll go right in front of my house so I'm excited about that. I actually have another one I might put in the ground over there or switch it out with this one. But that's exciting. All right, everybody. So that's just some of the stuff I wanted to show you today. I actually spoke to my neighbor just now, and he actually confirmed that he actually had the same pomegranate. And he got it from Julian, and it was uh, the Vietnamese one. So he said it did great for a couple of years, and it always had a lot of fruit on it. But then after a couple of years, it just died. So... It's interesting because that'll happen with some trees just in general, and we'll see how this lasts in the ground, this one. Uh, we'll see if he, he just got a, 
bad situation, a bad tree in a bad spot, or if it's this, but uh, that is a Vietnam pomegranate. I am excited about it. Again, I don't like the way these taste in terms of the seeds are a little on the hard side, but juicing them, I'm so looking forward to that. It's, it's a small tree that you can keep a bush, so that's why I'm excited about it. And it'll make a nice juice. So we'll see how it is. I mean, I'm not looking for any tree to plant that's gonna give me eight fruit per year. But three times a year, if it's going to give me maybe double that, 15 fruits three times a year, that's a nice refreshing drink I could have three times a year. So I'm excited about that. So links are below. Check out the pomegranate. Check out the, the Mame apple, also known as the Mame Americana. You get it from Julian. If you're up here in West Palm, I know that uh, Zane's World has them as well. And you can find them at many of the nurseries that I feature on, on, this, on the channel here. So just look at my other videos for videos more about that. All right, everybody, put your comments and questions below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep growing.